Watercolour painting for beginners. Today on this short video I'm going to show you how to paint a snow scene in about 10 minutes. Don't panic, it's not this one. You won't paint that in 10 minutes. It's a um, simpler version. A little scene with some mountains in the background, some trees across the, the water, small cabin and some reflections. So I'm just going to go straight in and take you through the process. So I'm going to start with the sketch. I've got a soft pencil here, a 4B. I'm going to put a line in for the water level. And start to put the, paint the shape of the, the mountains. Make them bigger. Don't make them all the same. Let's have a, a variety here. Let me make a bit of land just in the corner here and let me make a small cabin just to give that corner a bit of interest. A log cabin. There's trees in the distance but all you need to do is squiggles like this for a sketch. It's really just to kind of remind me where they'll be, not what the shape of them. And that's basically the sketch. So I'm going to try and paint this with uh, two colours. I'll just show you my palette here. I'm going to be using a blue, an ultramarine blue, and a brown. That should about do it. So I'm going to start with the sky at the top here. And I'll mix up some of that. It's a colour called ultramarine blue. And there we are. And let's get started. So I'm just going to fill the sky in with this blue. That should be quite good. It'll give a nice contrast against the white of the, the mountains. Just finish this off here and that'll be the sky done. So you can see I'm moving fairly quickly. Right, that should do. So I'm just going to put the brush down and we'll move down a bit now and tackle the trees. Right, so I'm going to, it's a winter time, the trees will be, the leaves will be off, so they'll be brownish grey colour. So I'm going to use some of that burnt, uh, burnt sienna colour, it is a brown and we'll paint in the, the trees. So I'm just going to go along the line here, the horizon line to make a, the land and then I'm just going to put some shapes in for trees. We'll tidy that up once uh, it's, it's dry and we're starting to put a lot of the detail in. Just Going to carry on along with some more in here. I'll leave that a little bit a gap. Good for the reflections, I'll show you that in a minute. Right, that's one bit done. Just carry on. Go along to the cabin area. Put one or two bits of trees in here. And Finish it off, just a butter roof. So, there we are, just about finished for the... Right, we'll put a bit more detail in later, so that'll do fine. What I'm going to tackle now is the, the shadow area on the side of the, the mountains. If the light is coming from this side, it'll be greyer parts here and I'll just show you this. So I want to use some brown and with that blue sorry and with that brown that I had left and gives you a nice grey colour. And I'm going to use that to paint in some bits of shadow areas on the 
the right hand side of the, the mountains and this you'll see starts to give it a bit 3D effect so that's quite nice just fill in this bit here just be careful when you're doing snow scenes as a tendency people have got to fill all the white of the paper in and there'll come a time when you regret that so you need to protect the white of the paper so be very careful, don't fill it all in and one or two little bits here now so hopefully you'll see that starting to give it a a nice 3D depth shape in the, the hills. Just going to finish off the one here and that, that will be it. That will do. There we are. Just one or two little craggy bits. Right, that's fine. So, what I'm going to do next is the same sort of colour, that grey, I'm just going to put some bits of little mound bits of the snow on the bank just to suggest how deep the snow is I'll do it and I'm going to make the cabin slightly different, one bit brown, the other bit slightly darker brown, so if the light's coming that way, I'll make this nice and light here and I'm just going to make it a little bit darker on the other side and that'll give a nice 3D effect what I'm going to do now is paint some reflections in the water here of the, the big trees. So I'm just going to mix up the a brown colour again. Some of that brown. I'm going to put a little bit of the blue in just to darken it a bit. There we are. And I'm going to start a bit here. I like to leave a, a white line uh, just at the water. I always looks nice so I'm quickly just going to block these in right I'll take that along there and then more shadows so reflections here uh, rush along nice bit there and some of the bigger reflections along to the cabin and that'll do us Right, so that's quite nice, just let that dry. Good, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put a little bit more detail in the trees here. I'm going to mix up a slightly darker brown. How I do that is get some of the brown and a little bit of the blue. It gives you a, a nice dark brown. And I'm going to suggest some taller uh, trees, possibly fir trees. Just get them to give it a bit of variation. Some smaller ones. You can see how that's helped a bit. I'm going to put a, a biggish one in here and one or two others there and finish off with one or two on this side just to make it stand out a bit so you can see how I'm doing these um, trees what you do is, I'll just show you slower just make a dot and start to get wider as you come down and it suggests the fir trees and that'll do 
Right, that's quite nice. So, just while I'm on that, what I'm going to do is carry on with the reflection to match the bigger ones. Just going to put them in the water. Squiggly lines. Like so. I'm going to put some detail on the cabin here. Let me make a door and a bit of a, a window. That'll do. Right. <coughs> I'm going to show you now is just some way to make the water look a bit more realistic. Um, put some horizontal lines in and it suggests a bit of movement in the water just slightly. Right, that'll do, I'm going to waste it, so brush down, finished. Well, here's the finished painting, and I hope you agree, it looks quite nice for um, 10 minutes. Um, I actually checked it, it's 11 minutes, so slightly over, so anyway, get the paints out, have a go, and enjoy yourself. Thank you.